Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at our 1v1 30 minute challenge. Uh, this is a new series we're going to be doing. Uh, in 30 minutes, we're going to see how much money or silver we can accumulate in 30 minutes or one pork omelet. Uh, I am running a 7 1 omelet uh, for these, this series. I will always run a 7 1 omelet. Uh, this time I am running a Warbo build. Uh, this is just in case we see other PvP gankers, and I also am looking to kind of fame farm this gear that I have on right now. Um, so that is the build I will be kind of rolling. Uh, we will try to skip to the parts that kind of show the action or the loot drops um, as we get into this series. Um, as we get started, we will be doing the solo dungeons. I don't know if you guys all know about the solo dungeons. So those are the green dots on the, black, uh, on the map. If you guys see, we're running into one right now. Uh, this is a solo dungeon. Um, it's not as good as obviously fame farm uh, team dungeons are, but you see on the mini map in the bottom right that you're going to actually have uh, three different places to collect a loot. Um, the the mobs in this, you know, they don't give you that great of an experience, but you're gonna see here as we kill this first guy, he gives us about 393. Um, fame. He was very, very weak, so obviously that's going to be maybe one of the factors on why he, you know, only gives you that low amount of fame. This guy, on the other hand, as we kill this one slowly but surely, um, as I try to snipe the dog for a little faster XP rate, but, uh, you know, that doesn't always work out for me. So, right there we had a little bit more of a higher fame rate, or a higher fame kill. Um, but you'll see that I actually got 2,000 silver there from that drop. And we're going to actually be adding in the silver drops plus the loot drops that we get from all of the solo content. Uh, as we run through this first dungeon, I will actually be attacking mobs for the most part, uh, but as we get you know farther and farther throughout this 30 minutes, I'm going to start trying to skip mobs that aren't in the way of the chest, uh, just trying to increase my XP rate and maybe a little bit of a better fame rate attacking mobs that are more worthwhile. Uh, so we get the first chest kill, and for the most part, you're going to see a lot of runes, but you get that 4k silver drop every time you kill a chest, or maybe even more. Sometimes I got 7 or 8k, which isn't bad at all. Um, but, you know, this this you know content isn't used very much anymore because of the team dungeons. So, uh, it's just something, you know, that kind of makes me interested in it because nobody really uses it. Um, today we're going to find out that actually, occasionally you'll find some players in these dungeons. And you're going to have to get in that PvP fight that you're going to have to see if your build is, you know, worthy of a 1v1 fight. A lot of these guys will run a druid staff and just kind of, you know, out heal your damage. Uh, and that can be frustrating, and you might have to run away from that if you don't have the right build. For instance, this Warbell build is not a build that's going to be able to kind of cut through that kind of, you know, consistent healing. Um, but if, you know, maybe if I was running a dagger build, I'd be able to burst through it uh, with a poison. But, you know, I'm running a, a healing pot here. Because of things like this, um, when we're attacking things like this, and I'm playing a Warbow build, like I said, um, giving me a lot of single target damage, I'm going to need that healing because there's going to be a lot of things attacking me, and I actually don't have that great of clear speed here as I fail to dodge that and almost go down here, barely taking the, you know, the survivability there. As we take this chest out, uh, this is a build that I kind of wanted to run in PvP. Uh, it's a fun one to run in PvP, so I was, you know, thinking to myself, maybe we'll run some PvP uh, while we're doing this solo content, so, you know, I'll run this build for that sake. But in future episodes, we'll probably run something a little different, um, possibly, uh, just for the, you know, the opportunity to, you know, clear faster and get better drops and faster clear times. Um, and now we're jumping out of that dungeon as we did clear the entire dungeon. Uh, we're kind of running to the other side of the map now to see if we can get that dungeon cleared. And on the way, we see a hidden treasure, so we're going to hop off, take the hidden treasure out. Oh, that's going to be a decent amount of silver, um, you know, gain. So we get all of the drop there, and we get about 3.7k uh, silver there as we take out this camp. Um, I'm going to be taking out camps, hidden treasures, and solo dungeons. Uh, I won't be taking PvP fights unless they come to me or attack me first for the most part. So you'll see right here, there's a guy running by. I'm not even going to bother. Um, for the most part, if they don't attack me, I will not go for them as, you know, this is more about solo content and not really about PvP for the most part unless, you know, they're in my dungeon or something of that, you know, nature. So 
we will take out that chest and we actually do get a 4.1 double blade staff which is about 30k uh, silver so it's not a bad drop from you know one of these wilderness chests as we go right on into another chest uh, we're taking out the mobs inside of here and this is kind of content I would like to see um, you know the you know the developers kind of buff a little bit make make the content you know for solo players a little bit more viable this will allow a lot more time for gankers and things to actually roam around and you know try to get those kills on people doing the this solo content it's still out in the open world so you can still get punished for doing this kind of content and you know it it could be a lot of fun having a lot of guys out here trying to do solo pvp and I don't know, it opens a lot of solo opportunities. I know a lot of you guys are looking for solo opportunities because right now, you, if you don't have a team or a guild, you're just kind of stuck. You, you can't really do much. You, you, know, you don't have any ganking opportunity really as a solo player. Um, if you know, there's other people around in the area, you're going to get kind of stuck to avoiding those areas like Mercia because they're always in groups. Uh, so you'll have to go to somewhere maybe a little bit easier or lower tier. Um, but this kind of allows you to just wander around and do some kind of things by yourself while you're just chilling. So, uh, here we're on a big boss and bosses also have a drop every time you kill them. So that is why we're doing the boss, uh, this time around. And he's actually a pretty strong boss. I was struggling to kill him here. Did a lot of damage, has some crazy abilities. Uh, what we ended up getting was a soul tier five soul, nothing special at all, but you know, we got about 5k silver as well as we see another hidden treasure over here in the corner. Uh, we snipe that hidden treasure, pick up the pieces and the 2k drop. We're going to get mounted back up and we're going to finally get up to that dungeon in the top corner um, in the west side. And we're going to enter this dungeon and we're going to kind of skip ahead here a little. We're going to skip around um, as the main thing we're going to be trying to do here is run past these mobs. And we're going to get kind of in trouble occasionally uh, by running past these mobs. You're going to accumulate a lot of mobs on top of you as they do chase you for quite some time. So right here, you're going to see that uh, there is a decent amount of mobs on the actual chest itself. I'm getting attacked by a dog from behind. So if you run a, run ahead like this, you can get in some trouble. Thankfully, I did bring some health pots for this, you know, kind of thing. Uh, so, you know, so if I do get weak, I can just pop a health pot as they are, you know, fairly, fairly cheap. So I didn't actually count that into my totals, uh, my health pots. If I lose... Um, gear from a pvp or anything i will subtract that for my total for that episode uh but as we get into this episode i'm already you know getting some decent gear i got that double bladed so i'm probably sitting at somewhere close um you know after this chest i'm probably sitting somewhere close to 100k at the very least uh you know after all these silver drops and everything and all the gems uh not the gems but the souls and the um now the mercenary 4-1 that just drops not a bad not, not a bad drop uh from these chests as you, you know, they need to buff them. Uh, you're usually getting souls, which, you know, aren't going to suffer much, or those runes, which are even worse. Um, right here, we're trying to just waiting for the health regen and, you know, energy to come back. Uh, what you're going to notice is this build is not, <laughs> not a vi I mean, it's a viable build. It's not a great build for this because you're not going to be doing AOE damage. And AOE, DME, oh, ooh, can't talk. AOE damage is going to help you a lot in these situations because you're going to have, you know, a lot of people in the same area. So if you're running something like a Great Curse, you're actually going to do really good work here because, um, you know, they group up. And if you can, you just toss your E down, do a group damage and apply stacks to everybody. Uh, you're going to be able to take these things out quickly with no problem. Uh, as you see, I get about a 2k drop there, and then I get a soul from the boss, and now we're on to the chest, uh, seeing if we can get some more silver. Slowly, slowly taking it out as the, just trying to spam some Qs on it. Um, and we do get it, and we get 7k silver drop. Actually, no items do drop from that one, but I do get 7k silver, so, you know, whatever. It's probably better than, you know, some garbage runes. Uh, we do take that guy out and take these bosses out, and we do have a mage sitting on the in the back waiting for us. So we try to get all those silver drops so we can add those together at the end. Um, we do take the mage out here. So I try to get started on the chest early on because I do have a poison arrow ticking on him. And we take it out finally. Uh, and we get a soul and a rune. And then 7k silver, which ain't bad. You know, that's going to add up. Here I kind of tried to speed it up a little bit for you guys as we do take a boss that, you know, takes a little bit of damage. Uh, in the future, I'll probably speed up things like this for you guys uh, to give you a better 
um, viewing experience, you know, speed things up for you and kind of, you know, talk through what's going on just in case you have any questions and can't really understand because I'm speeding it up too fast or anything. Like right here, I run away and go invis because I do get chased down by a little bit too much action for me. Um, as I come back in, I'm trying to get healed up and everything before I get started. And I finally get into it and start attacking a little bit. Um, I do end up killing everything there without a problem. Um, and looting some of the silver drops and item drops. And then we kill the chest and get another soul and a rune. Uh, we're going to head over here to this side of the dungeon as I get closer to my next dungeon. This will be the third dungeon uh, once we kill this yeah, mage right there. And we you know get all these silver drops all over the map. And we're going to go for the chest now uh, as we burst that chest down. We're going to be at probably about 200k at the very least right now. Uh, which isn't too bad. We'll have the total silver amount earned for this episode at the end of the video. Uh, we get a decent amount of runes and souls there, which, you know, it's always a good thing uh, for these drops. You know, it's better than nothing. Uh, I did spot a player up here in the top right corner. Just go into the solo dungeon. So we're going to go in there after him, see what we can find. I'm waiting for him to come out here. He doesn't end up coming out, so I go in chasing after him, see what's going on. Here he is right here. He's teleporting out, which so I go back to the gate trying to get to him. Because uh, he is in my way, so this would be an okay kill to go for in this series. Uh, I'm kind of waiting on him, seeing what he's got. Uh, I didn't actually inspect him because I wasn't too worried. Uh, we get a lot of damage down right away. Um, so because he attacked, and I was kind of waiting on him to attack, because he attacked, he wasn't actually able to escape even if he wanted to. I get a nice wave of light, and it's going to be an easy uh, kill from there on out with the magic arrow. Um, not anything great or special on the loot. But we're going to take it all for the hell of it, and we're going to sell it all, and that's going to buff up the, you know, the the drop from the solo content, you know, pretty well. So we're going to be at about 300k probably by the end of this video at this point um, with all this loot. So we did get this outside chest as well, got the relic um, in that 4k silver. But now that we go right back in that dungeon that we just killed that guy in, um, and we actually find a druid healer. Uh, this druid healer is running T6, I find out later, and that is the reason I'm not able to burst him no matter what I do. Uh, he, even if I land on my stuff, he's just going to heal past it. I'm not going anything that reduces healing, or I don't have a poison pot to kind of reduce his resistances and do enough damage. Um, because I'm going to 7-1 pot, I'm going to have faster cooldowns, so I am going to be able to just run kind of right you know, by everything and just you know, keep using that wave of light to keep him a little bit farther behind me. Um, as I'm just kind of running out of the area right now, uh, slowly running up all these steps and I did speed this up. Hopefully you guys like the editing. Uh, hopefully it's not too fast for you guys and you guys kind of understand what's going on when I do the speed up. I do get on the mount and get out of there just fine, but I do inspect to make sure I see what I'm seeing right. And yeah, that's something I'm not going to be able to kill. So I do have the total coming out here. Uh, for episode one, num uh, episode number one, we have that 300k for the solo content as we go through and sell everything. This is after repairs and everything. We have 300k made in 30 minutes. So it is possible to do solo content and make money. Um, is it better than any other method? Probably not too, probably not too crazy. Uh, but you know, we'll have to see in later episodes if we are able to get pretty insane drops. I'm sure there's possible uh, drops out there that will make this. Um, you know, make this actually viable occasionally. Uh, but for now, um, you know, on average, it's not going to be the best or most viable way of making money. As we do get the repair there and go back and sell the gear, we do get that 300K, like I said, with all the, you know, you got to remember all the silver drops are what actually help a lot here. Um, but I hope you guys do like episode one as there will be farther episodes. If you guys do enjoy this kind of content, I do like trying to do some solo stuff. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time.